The National Defense Authorization Act NDAA is the name for each of a series of United States federal laws specifying the annual budget and expenditures of the U.S. Department of Defense. The first NDAA was passed in 1961. The U.S. Congress oversees the defense budget primarily through two yearly bills, the National Defense Authorization Act and Defense Appropriations Bills. The authorization bill determines the agencies responsible for defense, establishes funding levels, and sets the policies under which money will be spent. In recent years, each NDAA also includes provisions only peripherally related to the Defense Department, because unlike most other bills, the NDAA is sure to be considered and passed so legislators attach other bills to it. Topic: Recent legislation. The National Defense Authorization Act for Fiscal Year 2014 HR 3304, NDAA 2014 was a United States federal law that specified the budget and expenditures of the United States Department of Defense DOD for fiscal year 2014. The law authorized the DOD to spend $607 billion in fiscal year 2014. On December 26, 2013, President Barack Obama signed the bill into law. This was the 53rd consecutive year that a National Defense Authorization Act has been passed, the Howard P. Buck. McKeon National Defense Authorization Act for fiscal year 2015 was one of the proposed NDAA bills for fiscal year 2015. On May 8, 2014, the House Armed Services Committee ordered the bill reported amended by a vote of 61 to 0. The committee spent 12 hours debating the bill and voting on hundreds of different amendments before voting to pass it. Notable or controversial NDAA legislation National Defense Authorization Act for Fiscal Year 2007, Pub. L. 109-364. This NDAA is formally named after John Warner, a U.S. war veteran and former long-term senator and Senate Armed Services Committee Chairman and U.S. Secretary of the Navy from Virginia. National Defense Authorization Act for Fiscal Year 2008, Pub. L. 110-181. This NDAA is notable for including a signing statement, one of many that President George W. Bush controversially see articles used in attempting to project a strong unitary executive theory—one that he hoped would consolidate and expand executive branch power. National Defense Authorization Act for Fiscal Year 2010, Pub. L. 111-84. This NDAA contains important see article hate crimes legislation. National Defense Authorization Act for Fiscal Year 2011, Pub. L. 111-383. This NDAA is formally named after Ike Skelton, a former long-term congressman and chairman of the House Armed Services Committee from Missouri. National Defense Authorization Act for Fiscal Year 2012, Pub. L. 112-81. This NDAA contains several controversial sections see article, the chief being sections 1021-1022, which affirm provisions authorizing the indefinite military detention of civilians, including U.S. citizens, without habeas corpus or due process, contained in the Authorization for Use of Military Force AUMF, Pub. L. 107-40. National Defense Authorization Act for Fiscal Year 2013 National Defense Authorization Act for Fiscal Year 2014 National Defense Authorization Act for Fiscal Year 2015 National Defense Authorization Act for Fiscal Year 2016 National Defense Authorization Act for Fiscal Year 2017, signed into law in December 2016 National Defense Authorization Act for Fiscal Year 2018, signed into law in December 2017 National Defense Authorization Act for Fiscal Year 2019, signed into law in August 2018. See also Internal Security Act of 1950 Klinger-Cohen Act, part of the National Defense Authorization Act for fiscal year 1996.